747-8 Superjet simulator here. I just want to show you what we do in terms of deviating around weather uh, if we have weather ahead to avoid flying into storms which can be very bumpy, can damage the aircraft and definitely injure its occupants if it's really, really severe. Anyway, uh, I'll show you here very quickly what I've done. I've just put myself, departed from JFK, going straight to Anchorage. I've just put a straight line to Anchorage VOR, TED. So what I've done as well is I've put some weather ahead. It's about 50 miles ahead. These are storms and the, the red bits are very turbulent. The green is mostly rain. The yellow can be a little bit bumpy, but certainly the red bits are quite turbulent and you want to avoid that. So our track, as you can see now, goes right into the middle of the weather there. So what we do in a case like this, we either ask ATC, request a heading of say 360, you know, for say 50 miles, and then we like to turn left back to regain track, or we could ask for a heading to the left here, 0, 3, uh, 300 that way to avoid the weather. We even avoid some of the greens because if you can avoid it, you may as well avoid everything. Um, so there's two methods, either select heading select, as I've done there, heading select, I'll just go to out hold, let's have a look, out hold there. So I've selected out hold and we're at 10,000 feet. 10,000 feet altitude hold and what I've done is I've now requested ATC to give us a heading to fly around the weather. So air traffic control says you're clear turn right heading 360 which is there. So I come up here and turn the heading selector to 360 or 000 same thing. There you go. The aircraft outside if you can see is just turning. There you go. It's turning to the right now to achieve that heading and you can see that heading will now take me to the right of the weather that I'm trying to avoid. If you look out there, it's even giving the occasional flash, which I really don't want to fly into that. And there's a little bit of rain there in the distance showing. So that's what we're trying to avoid. See there? So that's what we do then. The aeroplane will fly all this way. Somewhere about here, we then ask to turn left to regain our original course and continue to our destination. The other method we can do is we go in here in the FMS and go to the root page. There's a root page. And you see here where it says offset. You might be able to see it. It says offset there. In the offset, I can put in an offset, say 10, 15 miles, 20 miles, up to 99 miles off course to deviate around weather. So let's say normally what we do as pilots, we put in a range, say we want to go right, right rare right let's say 15 miles will that give me enough room to clear this weather so i'll put it in there and this is what it does see it's, it puts a line there to say 15 miles will take you just on the edge of the weather so we say no we need more so we come in here we come back in here before we ask atc we say right 20 miles say 20 miles to the right so replace the 15 with 20, 20 miles. That moves the line of deviation to over there. And I say, yeah, that's okay. That will clear the weather. And then we get onto the radio and say, um, Kennedy radar request uh, two zero miles, Cathay 080 request two zero miles right of track to avoid weather. Kennedy comes back if they're nice. They're very nice normally. Uh, Cathay 080, you're clear to deviate. Two zero miles right of weather advised when clear of weather. So we come back in here. The execute light is waiting for us to get the clearance from ATC. Once ATC have given us that clearance, I will then execute that by pushing that button and that becomes magenta. That means it's active. If I now select my LNAV, it will now go into LNAV, that it will continue on this heading until it intercepts the deviation. So the aeroplane will fly on this heading until it intercepts this deviation, which is 20 miles off the original track. 
and then it will intercept the track and turn and continue. When we get here, we can then say we're clear of weather and we'll come back here, just erase that or go direct to another waypoint that's in between. And that will take us back on track and we've gone around the weather. So two methods, either select heading, ask for a heading from air traffic control and go left or right, preferably upwind if you can, or select an offset track as I've just shown you there, which will give you an offset for the number of miles you wish that will clear the weather. And uh, that should keep you clear. In this case, I went to the right, which is upwind, which is better because downwind, the turbulence can continue some distance away from the cloud. So it's best always to go upwind of the cloud. See, there's the wind, one, two, six. So it's coming from this direction. So if we stay upwind of it, it's better. So that's what we do to deviate around weather. And that's uh, the coordination that's required between air traffic control and aeroplanes. If you're on a passenger aeroplane, at this point, before we even get to the weather, we put the fasten seatbelt sign on, okay? So I'll put it on now. And the seatbelt sign is on. There you go. See it? Seatbelt sign on. And they'll be telling you to sit down and they pack things away. You can't have your cup noodles, you can't have hot drinks and that kind of stuff. Anyway, once we're finished with that, we get back on track, put the seatbelt sign off. Bob's your uncle. We're in business. Later.